And so we've heard for the last several months that there's no credit available, that jobs are not coming back. But we've got perhaps, well, a, a contrary view. We've got Len Tenenbaum. He is the chief executive of Fifth Street of Finance. This is a company that lends and invests in small to mid-sized company. And uh, Len, thank you very much for coming into Bloomberg on such a miserable day in New York City with the weather. Thanks for having me again, Pam. So is the is the weather in the small and mid-sized markets, does it match the, the blizzard, the snow that we've had in New York today, or is it really not so bad? I was reading the article in the Wall Street Journal yesterday or today about the lending, and I talked to analyst over at RBC, I said, why are we seeing something so different? And I think the reason is, when they talk about the lending from the banks being curtailed, it's really the credit cards, it's the mortgages, but lending to business development companies like us, lending to small companies to either buy them or help them grow, is actually doing better. It's expanding. And we announced you know, yesterday a $150 million uh, up to $150 million line with ING Bank, with a number of other syndicate partners we think will participate. We have, we're getting calls from the banks. And this is like the second line that you've gotten in maybe, what, six to eight months? We had first a line from Wells Fargo. That's right. Then the ING line. And fortunately, we finally made it through the government process, and we got an SBA, SBIC license for $150 million. Let, Let's stop right there. What, what is that license, the small business license? Explain what that is and, and how that affects your business. So the government... Uh, gives SBI license, SBIC, Small Business Investment Company, licenses to a number of firms. And what that allows us to do is really lend to small companies, let, help them grow. Um, it's up to $150 million of leverage. The government packages all of these small business loans together and sells it out into the open market with a guarantee for 90 percent, usually, of the assets. So it's a government-backed mostly government-backed piece of paper. And if it's government-backed, that must mean it's perhaps a little bit less expensive because that guarantee comes along with it, right? That's exactly right. And you have to fit the certain criteria uh, of the government loans, but we lend to small companies, and we fit every single one of the loans in our public entity fits that program. So are you seeing hiring in small business? We are. And uh, two, two examples I brought for you today, because I know you like examples, uh, is Huron Manufacturing, which is in Lexington, Michigan. It's an auto parts company, believe it or not. And we've expanded from 150 people a year ago to 250 people today. And it's doing well. I mean, this is a really small company. We're talking about a $28 million revenue, $4 million in earnings before interest taxes, depreciation, amortization company. And we're really proud of those types of companies. The but other you've one, moved from 150 to 250 people, so you've almost, you almost doubled the size of the workforce. Absolutely. And the other one is Boot Barn, uh, which is a Western retailer out in California. And we went from 700 to 800, not as much of a percentage increase, but, you know, the retailers really cut back in the last in this uh, economic storm. And it's great they to see They don't want any inventory back. on the shelves, right? And now they're even re-inventorying. And you're seeing that in a number of our companies where they're adding inventory. And that's going to—I believe that's going to start stimulating the economy. So where's all this news coming from that there is no lending going on? Because, I mean, we have heard it repeatedly, not only in the mortgage market, not only in the credit card market, but there's this, you know, this litany of, of woes about no money flowing to small and mid-sized businesses. Is it because it's not coming directly from the banks? It's got to go through some kind of conduit like a business development corporation, like a Fifth Street Finance? Is that more popular now? I think a lot of it is because of the deleveraging of the balance sheets. I think a lot of what you're hearing is consumer-led lending, and that's what most people can associate lending with. It's harder to see the lending to small companies come through. Plus, what the indexes you're looking at, the articles you're looking at are often lagging. So I think what you're going to see this year is a definite pickup in lending as the banks who are flush with capital, who realize LIBOR is at all-time lows, right? It's 0.25 on the uh, three-month LIBOR. Yeah, but I, mean, but I mean, to be fair, right, small and mid-sized businesses, they're not accessing any of this credit at LIBOR or anything near it, right? I mean, it's kind of a little bit more expensive than it's that. It's much more expensive. Even yeah. our lines at LIBOR are 450 So, yes, there's no question about it. Lending is going to come. But lending is going to be more expensive, and it's going to be more expensive for a while. So only the good businesses will get capital, and also they'll be charged correctly for the capital. And what about the amount of time that it's taking for a loan to actually go through the system? Are you finding that the cycle is longer now? The cycle's longer. There's, there's no question about it. There's, there's more diligence. There's more meetings. There's and Nobody is just throwing money at anything. It, it takes a long time, even to sign what we announced, this $150 million line. Believe me, this wasn't yesterday's business getting signed today. This took us months of very detailed... Uh,